Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? In this video today, I'll be showing you how you can install the brand new AI Code Whisper from Amazon. Uh, in this video today, I'll, I'll be showing you everything, how you can install this, how you can integrate this to your Visual Studio Code. So without any further ado, let's get this video started. So it is basically an AI coding companion that generates the whole line and full function code suggestions uh, in your IDE to help you like get your done more faster, right? So IDE is basically, as we all know, it is a AWS cloud integrated development environment which helps you to write, run, or debug code directly into your browser. So the Amazon Code Whisper, it basically companions the AI uh, to help generate the whole line and full function code in your IDE or maybe uh, in your Visual Studio code as well. So, so first of all, you need to do is you need to go to the official website of the Amazon Code Whisper and it will pop up the screen right here. Then you need to scroll down. It will give you a few information about how it works. What does it do? So as you can see right here, uh, it's telling you can use that in different uh, additional IDEs that you can use for that all right so for this video we're gonna set our amazon code whisper in our visual studio code because it is no doubt one of the most widely used code editor on the market right now all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open my visual studio code right here all right and yeah one more thing make sure uh that your visual studio code is uh up to date there should be all the possible updates should be installed in your computer okay once your visual studio code is open you need to go to top left right here and there will be a few options you you need to click on the extensions one right here okay so after that it will give you a search bar you will type aws and hit enter and it will automatically give you the aws toolkit option you're going to click on that and hit the install button right here and it will take a few time installing that so you need to wait on that as well all right so once your aws toolkit is installed so what you're going to see is one of the aws options on the left side will appear below the extensions one okay so you'll click on that and it will give you three to four options and as you can see right here we have the code whisper option right here you're going to click on that it will expand and as you can see we have a start button right here we're going to hit that up all right so once you hit the start option it will give you two three more options uh which one uh, it will ask you to sign up your email id with your aws builder id so aws builder id is basically an aws account which basically helps you to uh, test different tools and different the technologies of uh, aws in that so and mind you one more thing uh, for aws builder id you don't need any aws account you can basically sign that up using your gmail account and it will be for free you don't need any credit card information for that so that is uh, basically really good all right so i'll click on this option and use my personal email to sign that up all right so then this pop-up will appear that will give you a code you're gonna copy and paste it in your browser so that we can proceed further all right so i'm gonna copy this code and paste it right here all right so i'm gonna click on that and click open right here okay so this is basically the code that you can see right here you're gonna copy that and paste it in your browser right here okay so let me write that code right here okay and then we're gonna hit next all right so the next thing is gonna ask you for your email address to sign up for the AWS builder ID so you're gonna write your email address and you're gonna hit next and after that it's gonna ask you for your name so you're gonna type in your name as well and hit next again All right, so after that, it will send you a verification code in your Gmail ID. So you're going to go into your Gmail ID, copy that code and just paste it right here and click verify. OK, so now you need to choose a, a unique password for your AWS Builder ID to set up. And I'm just going to confirm it once again and hit create AWS Builder ID. And now you're going to agree these terms and condition and you're going to hit allow. All right, so as you can see right here, it's all good to go. The AWS Builder ID has been set up. And if you can see right here, it's also showing in our Visual Studio code as well that is connected with the AWS Builder ID. So we're just going to go ahead and test that all out. Close the browser and go to your Visual Studio code. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and create a new file to test all this out. First of all, uh, I'll choose a language. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose Python right here. So uh, we're just going to give it a little bit of time to sync all this up. So just wait for a second. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, give it a little comment right here. I'm just going to say print hello world and I'm going to hit enter. Then it will give me a code suggestion which I have to accept. And for that I have to hit tab so as you can see right here it has provided me the code basically to how you can print the hello world all right so it was basically a, just a little bit of a simple example let me just go ahead and give it a little bit of a more complex one I'm just gonna go ahead and say him to uh, create a list of names 
and print them let's just do, let's let's see what what it will do then all right so you can see it's giving me the suggestion i'm gonna accept it by hitting tab all right so it just gave me the names uh as you can see right here all right so as you can see it's working perfectly fine by now but let me just go ahead and give it a little bit more of a complex example i'm just gonna ask him to use for loop to print prime numbers from 1 to 100 i'm just gonna hit enter and here you can see is giving me a suggestion i'm just gonna accept it by hitting tab i'm just gonna hit enter again all right so i'm just gonna hit enter again and uh, as you can see it's giving me uh the complete code snippet for that all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and hit tab to accept all this once again all right uh so it's all done by now so the moment of truth now uh, let me just go ahead and save this file and try to run it to see if whether it's working or not let me just go ahead and do that i'm just gonna go ahead and give it a name of my file just gonna save that and uh, all right i'm just gonna go ahead and open terminal over here and we're gonna switch powershell to cmd as well here we go all right we're gonna hit the command prompt here and i'm gonna give it a command as python my file dot py all right so yeah it's all uh working as you can see uh we gave it like three comments first was to print the hello world and second one was the to print the names and third one was the about uh the prime numbers from one to hundred so it gave me the hello world and it gave me the names as well and you can see we have all the prime numbers as well from one to hundred so yeah that was uh, basically pretty much it so you can see like how powerful like the code whisper is you can like generate any code snippets from you know your single comments and it can give you uh complete codes for that and it can help you uh you know solve all your problems in a very efficient way and the best thing about it is that uh, you don't need to go anywhere else to search for your code you can do all that in your uh, single platform in my case which was visual studio code all right, so that was it for uh, today's video. Uh, I hope you like that. If you do, kindly give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, see you. Bye-bye.